Hello, I'm Joey, and this is Game of Authors, and I thought I'd do a little Friday Reads video. So, um, <clears throat> today, I, uh, a little health, brief health update. Today, I met with my oncologist for the first time, and I'll be starting my treatments uh, right after Christmas. Uh, and um, she was very optimistic and encouraging, so I am ex happy that uh, we seem to be headed in the right direction. Not happy that I have cancer, obviously, but happy that it's headed in the right direction. And so... Uh, anyhow, that is, that will be a, a new adventure in my life. But um, uh, after when I got home from the oncologist today, I found a package in the mail. And I'm not going to do a lot of book unhauls uh, because I don't buy a lot of books. Uh, I tend to read a lot of e-books and listen to audio books uh, that I borrow from the library. But uh, I was excited because I got a new book uh, in the mail which was actually a giveaway from Faith at Faith and Books. She did a giveaway video, and um, one of the off one of the vi giveaways was the Diary of a Country Priest by uh, George Bernanos. I'm not sure how that's pronounced, uh, which is a book I've been wanting to read for a few years now. So I was excited to uh, receive that gift from Faith today. So thank you to Faith at Faith and Books. And in addition to the um, the book, there was also a Christmas card in there. So thank you very much, Faith. I appreciate that. And um, uh, that's a book I look forward to reading. I'll probably wait till after December because I like to read mostly Christmas books during December. Um, so I look forward to maybe starting on that in January. Again, The Diary of a Country Priest. That was a 1936 novel, and I've heard a lot of good things about that. So uh, some a few books that I finished uh, here recently. Uh, I finished uh, the book of 1 Corinthians in the English Standard Version. Um, just finished that one recently. Uh, another book I finished recently is uh, The Greatest Gift by Philip Van Dornstern. Uh, I, this is a reread for me. I've probably read this three or four times now. And this is the uh, original short story that um, the movie It's a Wonderful Life is based off of. And uh, it's an interesting story. There's also some information uh, in here about the story that Philip Van Doren Stern wrote. This was uh, the story was written in 1943, uh, and he tried to get it published but couldn't. So he just uh, put it into a Christmas card and sent it out to some friends of his. And somebody found somebody who liked the story. Uh, it got into the right hands, and he got a call that one of the movie stu movie studios wanted to buy his story uh, to make a movie out of it, and. It kind of went through a couple different uh, hands before it finally ended up with Frank Capra and Jimmy Stewart. And of course, they made the classic movie, my favorite movie of all time, It's a Wonderful Life. Um, but this is a neat little book, a neat little story. Uh, it's much shorter uh, than, the, than everything involved in the movie, but uh, it's a great Christmas read and one that I try to read every year at Christmas. And short, you can read it in one sitting. So great book there. Uh, the next book that I read, uh, another very short Christmas book, is called The Innkeeper by John Piper. Uh, this is a very uh, uh, a short Christmas poem, um, nicely illustrated, and it's uh, based, the, it's a narrative poem about, let's see here, um, like, yeah, like here's a little picture in there, but um, it's a narrative poem about the uh, uh, imagining what might have happened with the innkeeper who uh, gave a, a place for Jesus and Mary and Joseph to sleep on the night uh, that Jesus was born. And uh, the poem is set three days before the crucifixion of Jesus. And uh, in the story, Jesus goes back to talk to that innkeeper after all those years. And we find out what it actually cost the innkeeper to house Jesus uh, that night. And um, this is a beautifully written poem, and uh, uh, oftentimes when I read it, it brings me to tears. Um, and I've reread this one, I think, about every Christmas for several years now. This one was originally written in 1998. Uh, Piper is a pastor, or was a pastor of a church in uh, Minnesota, and um, every year for Christmas he would write a poem as a gift to his, his church. This is probably the most well-known one, and I think he's a great poet. Um, even though he's, I'm sure, not really well-known as a poet. Um, but um, anyhow, this is a great Christmas book that I like to read every year. I reread that one this past week. Um, the next book that I read, uh, just finished, uh, it was called, is called The Night of the Hunter by Davis Grubb. Uh, it was published in 1953. 
Uh, this was not a Christmas book. It was recommended by Alan Morton uh, over at his channel, and uh, it was a great recommendation. Um, of course, there was a classic film uh, starring Robert Mitchum and Shelley Winters, which I had seen the movie about 20 years ago. Uh, and so when I saw that he recommended the book, I always like reading, going back and reading book, the original book of movies that I love. And um, he recommended that one. I went and I downloaded it uh, to my phone to read, and it was so intense. It's a thriller um, and uh, about a, a preacher, uh, a, a ne'er-do-well preacher, uh, who comes to town and is um, uh, basically he's he's trying to get his hands on some money that had been taken through a robbery that uh, uh, there's two children and their mother and the father had gone uh, had been uh, sentenced for stealing this money and he suspects this preacher suspects that they know where the money is and so he's he's the hunter and it is so intense, and uh, I think I read that in about two days, maybe three days, uh, because I couldn't put it down. Um, and I now want to go back. It had been long enough since I'd seen the movie that I couldn't remember the whole story, uh, but it was an excellent book, uh, and I want to go back and rewatch the movie now. So, so those are some books I've finished. Uh, a couple books I'm currently reading. I'm reading the book of Exodus in the Old Testament. Uh, and I'm also reading a book called Dignity, Seeking Respect in Back Row America by Chris Arnade. Um, that is a book uh, that just was published this year in 2019. And I'd heard about that one like six months ago. And I've had it on, I had it on hold at the library, um, the physical book, but then for whatever reason I couldn't pick it up. So I put it on hold for ebook and it's taken this long to where I finally uh, got a hold of it now. And I'm in the process of reading that. It's very similar to like uh, Hillbilly Elegy um, by J.D. V JD Vance, I believe, uh, is the author of that one. This one is Chris Arnade. It's a similar type book. He kind of is traveling around the country or, or was at the time he uh, was researching and just interviewing people from small towns uh, or big cities. Um, uh, but kind of the, the, well, the people in back row America, the people struggling for jobs and, and poverty and a lot of people with drug problems, and he covers just a lot of different topics. I'll talk more about that one after I finish it, but that's a book I'm reading right now. And then two books on my TBR. Uh, I've already downloaded these that I want to read. Uh, one, the first one I want to reread, which is one of my favorite Christmas books of all time, is The Long Christmas Dinner, uh, a play by Thornton Wilder. Uh, it was published in 1931 originally, and um, that is an amazing, amazing play. Um, I love Thornton Wilder's Our Town, and, and The Long Christmas Dinner is, I think, as good as Our Town. Uh, it is very uh, emotional, very um, uh, powerful, uh, tear-jerking uh, in my mind, but it's, a, it's an interesting play about... Um, a, a Christmas dinner that takes place over 90 years in this home. And it's very interesting the way it's done because characters move in and out. They, they come in one door, which is kind of the, the door of birth, and then another door they go out, which is death. And so you see this family over 90 years and this this dinner that just continues on and characters coming in and out and, and the life experiences they're going through and and it's oh it's so wonderful so i highly recommend that one and i am really looking forward to rereading it um again for probably the third or fourth time now and the other uh, book on my tbr uh, that i've already downloaded is uh, the man who invented christmas by les standiford which was originally published in 2008 and i know it was made into a movie a few years ago i really don't know almost anything about this book uh, except that it's kind of the story of Charles Dickens writing A Christmas Carol. Um, I'm curious, if any of you have read the book, what did you think of it? Uh, it's one I've kind of wanted to read the past couple of years and just haven't gotten around to it. So I'm excited to read that one and curious what you guys think about it. Um, so that is my Friday reads. Those are the uh, books I've finished currently reading and, and books I'm looking, uh, getting excited to read as well. And then um, in the uh, after Christmas, I'm also excited about, uh, I'm going to be reading some uh, books by Betty Smith, who was the author of A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. I'm going to, she wrote four novels and uh, Kelly over at Books I'm Not Reading uh, mentioned that she's going to be reading the novels of Betty Smith in 2020. And so I said, hey, I'd like to read those as well. Uh, so uh, I think we're going to do a buddy read or something like that. 
Um, so I'm looking forward to reading reading those books uh, maybe a after Christmas. And then again, the other book I'm looking forward to read after Christmas is uh, this one that I just received, The Diary of a Country Priest. So looking forward to that as well. So anyhow, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great weekend. Bye.